Scripting? Scripting is dumb. Oh, yes, I, I agree. Dry, I can't even write, much less script. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Zeke, and we are going to talk about the V Twin Visionary Tour I did a couple weeks ago. And basically, what it was is Jeff Holt and Dave Rowe combined together their forces to create this online conglomerate of motorcycle information, reviews of different parts and accessories and engine builds that I know nothing about but I love listening to it I'm just clueless when it comes to like that stuff the next few videos you'll see in the next couple of weeks I've got gonna start off today with this video is gonna be Jeff Holt Jeff G Holt I don't know which one he wants to go by all this stuff is Jeff G Holt he's got amazing I don't know if I want to call it a beard and Jeff you're gonna hate me for that it's a beard but it's like a big long goatee because he's got skin on the side there awesome guy uh, Dave, his partner, comes in at the end and you can't hear a thing he says. Sorry. It's still a great interview. It tells how he got to where he is, doing what he is with... Got to where he is, doing what he is? With V-Twin Visionary and how that whole company and organization came to be. So over the next couple, three weeks maybe, you'll see a lot of these videos coming out. I'm just going to go right into the videos with the rest of them. This is the only one I'll have an intro for. Different builders, another YouTuber, of course Jeff Holt and Dave Rowe. I think I've said that a few times. V-Twin Visionary. Be doing visionary tour. That's what this video is. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoy the videos that are going to come out over the next few weeks. They're going to be interviews of different builders and stuff like that. Uh, make sure if you like them, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Notification bell. I don't know. All those little buttons. Just click one of them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Actually, we won't see you later because you'll, we'll see you. you'll see me and Jeff right now. Welcome back. Hi. I'm Zeke. I'm Jeff G. Holt. They can't hear you unless you have the microphone. Hi. I'm Jeff G. Holt. Jeff G. Holt. Not sure really who he is. I think he's like new to the motorcycle industry. He used to be like in like swing sets. And elf porn. Oh. No. He's been around a long time and you probably all know who he is. I knew about him before I met him. Same as I with you. Right. And we met and we clicked. Oh, right. Away. Actually, our beards like did this little weird thing where they like intertwined. It got and super melted. weird super quick. You like my shtick, by the way? <laughs> I love the shtick. Yeah, so I didn't have my boom mic. <laughs> and all I brought was one lav mic. So I was like, how am I going to do this? So I got a stick. And it's now my shtick. So all these videos you'll be seeing about the V-Twin Visionary Tour, which now I've just said what we're, what we're here for. Yeah. Yeah. Precursor. Yes. I'm not going to edit it. It's just going to be like this. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. But we're at Smoky Mountain Harley-Davidson. We're in the shed. It's, this is their indoor venue. And uh, it's the V-Twin Visionary. <laughs> I'm going to say it. First annual tour. <laughs> yeah, first annual. <laughs> There's no such thing as first annual. It's inaugural. No. There's a second annual. Third, fourth, fifth, and then on out. Agreed. We were talking about that yesterday. We're like, how many times have you seen that everywhere? Oh, yeah. Everybody says, it's the first annual tour. No, it's not. It doesn't exist. Inaugural. So when they say that, their their event actually does not exist. Weird. It's kind of deep. Kind of blows your mind. Like the painting behind us. This is awesome. Like, I want to do this to my house. If y'all have never been here, come to Maryville, Tennessee. Go to Smoky Mountain Harley-Davidson. Go to the shed, the indoor venue, the outdoor venue, the, sh the dealership, their oh. archives. Everything here All is just it. so badass, man, you know. And the cool thing is, so y'all put this together as mm -hmm. a place. It's The tour is... Not just rides around here, which in Maryville, you're right at the base of the Smoky Mountains. There's Tale of the Dragon. Uh, uh, no, what? It's yeah. pronounced Merville. Merville. And Merville, that's like Shovel, which is actually Shelbyville here in Tennessee. But Merville is the base of the Smoky Mountains. You got the drag Tale of the Dragon, which is 20 minutes away. You got Phil Hills Parkway, same. Uh, Cherahalla. Yeah. What are some of the other uh, ones? Tale of the Dragon. I mean, yeah, I, said, I said that first. Oh, the Skyway is yeah. amazing. There's literally, I mean, over a hundred and something rides. And this is what's amazing about y'all choosing here. It's really cool to do the tours where you go through a bunch of states, where you go all over the country, but you're you're running and running and running and running and getting to the next place and then resetting. If you're in a hotel, you got to unpack everything. If you're a vendor, you got to set back up. With this, you come, you set up, you go on rides all day. Yeah. And then you come back and you hang out. 
and they've got a music venue. They've got a uh, bar. They've got a restaurant. They you can buy a Harley. So pretty much anything that you really want to do here. Which Scott would really want us to <clears throat> harp on the. Buy, you could buy a Harley. Yeah, you could buy a Harley here yeah. if you so wish. They could finance it and everything. And you can get a bunch of parts for it and clothing and goods, services. All right, Scott, there's your plug. Yay. So how did how did y'all create V-Twin Visionary? So uh, I, here, let yeah, me grab the take, stick. Take my stick. Uh, I was a editor for a few magazines, Hot Bike, Street Chopper, and Baggers for over a decade. And um, due to paper magazines completely declining and dying, uh, ended up getting fired downsized i was downsized yeah. well it was like hey come in here i was working from home that day and you met this guy i met this guy it's the most amazing story they thought i was there they're like well come into the office if you get an email and i was like i'm at home and so like we had like a google meeting which i think is probably illegal yeah like you can't get fired by via google meetup right if if it is legal it should be illegal yeah whatever yeah. so i guess shit can <laughs> i was kind of bummed out for a little bit because i I was the face of the brand. I put my heart and soul into it. So instead of getting some normal marketing job in the motorcycle industry like most editors do when they get fired, I decided I was going to start my own thing, which is the <laughs> stupidest thing ever. And then this guy is the guy that really convinced me, hey, we should do it. It's going to be great. Everything will be fine. We'll make millions of dollars. Ugh. I'll make tens yeah. of dollars. I've seen it. I'm telling you, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, for real. It's the best shit i ever done. Like being able to turn this on and – have these people come out, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people come out to this tour now. Yeah. And the massive support I got, people that were that went to every hot bike tour, all eight or ten of them, and now they're jump ship and came over to what we're doing. And yeah. I get to meet guys like you who are super cool, who are, you know, legends in their own rights and doing your thing. Like, it's pretty rad. That's like, the connections. The connection thing goes on. Yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. He's already done it. Did you not see it? It's right there. He did it again. Question mark. Yeah. But, I mean, all in all, that's kind of it. And, I mean, we specialize in more cutting-edge Harley-Davidson stuff, performance brands and things like that. So I think that that's our big thing. A lot of guys are stuck in the in the chrome and red paint days, and we're all about performance and off-road stuff and trackers and, you know, big performance baggers with European guy. brakes and all this other shit. So. It's cool shit. We're doing it. We're making it happen by any means necessary. He he really means that. Um, yeah. They they took the shock collar off just so I could do this interview without looking like I was being tortured. So That's right. any means necessary is is, is, is is very. It's not a shock collar. Why did it hurt so bad? Uh, God, oh, this is a great tour, and you need to come to the second <laughs> annual. V Twin Visionary Tour. So if if they want to find you, social media, all that good stuff, what is it? Uh, v Twin Visionary at V Twin Visionary, V Twin Visionary dot com, Jeff G Holt, uh, hashtag Jeff G Holt at Jeff G Holt, whatever you want to do, it all goes the same place. And the other guy, what does he have anything or we just don't want to talk about it? It's kind of like a pen and teller deal, but he yeah. talks, but he doesn't do yeah. anything else. Well, we, he's trying to talk right now, but we're going to talk over him the whole we're time. Go judge bikes. Well, this this dude right here. I always tell us the analogy is like if it wasn't for Dave, like this wouldn't have happened. And if it did happen and I had money, I'd like have a pontoon boat and a four series BMW yeah. and I would have blew the money already and been broke. For, oh, uh, that's month. true. Thanks so he's month. the guy. I, he won't even give me a credit card. So here's some videos of like some drag racing that's going on. There's rides that they do Game the whole ride. time you're here. And then there's bike shows. There's both the pro bike show, which will be tomorrow. That's all the builders that are here, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. And then right now, y'all are about to go judge this bike show, and there's all these bikes. Yeah, that's a ride-in ride bike show. show. So you can bring your bike, get it judged, win a placard, yep. show it. There you go. And then, like, go on and be Insta-famous and say, I got best in show. So the biggest question I want to ask when you judge these, what do you look for? I mean, is it just, hey, that looks cool, or do you look uh, like other stuff? I mean, there, it, it, it's, of course, always, hey, it looks cool. But then there's attention to detail, craftsmanship, uh, paint quality, uh, cleanliness. Um, it's it's a whole myriad of things shoved into one thing. So what's a myriad? It means a whole bunch of shit put in oh, one thing. Oh, got it. So it's it's a whole thing, and I mean you have to have yeah you can have these fishing lure bikes that have these fancy paint jobs, but you know they could have mismatching wheels, yeah. stock rotors, like stuff that deducts points. And there could be a bike that may be just one color, but it has, you know, 
six thousand dollars in wheels and and you know European brakes and suspension and all the other stuff. You know, for us being more performance oriented, we we key into that instead of a big wheel bagger yeah. or something like that. Gotcha. I mean, you shouldn't be bringing that shit to our show, anyways. Right. But you know, if you do, chances are you're not going to win. I'm sorry to all the big wheel baggers that watch my channel. But once again, I'm God, yeah, God. Mm. Sorry. big wheel baggers don't need to come to the show. Please quit doing that. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> it's my shtick. <laughs> <laughs> Twiggy over here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That'll go in the video. <laughs>